Hey guys, it's Dina. Welcome back to my channel where I talk everything about teaching. I hope that you're having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to look at two features of Class Dojo that not a lot of teachers are actually using, which is a shame because they bring so much goodness. I can't believe not a lot of people are taking advantage of them. Class Story, which boosts engagement from parents and the entire family and Portfolio, which boosts the engagement of students. Boost, boost, boost. Isn't that great? Please help boost this channel and subscribe for more videos about teaching and hit the bell so that you're notified of new videos. Now let's start. What is Class Story? Simply put, it is a way for teachers to share photos, videos, and announcements about their class to all parents connected to the class. Why should you bother with it? It is a great way for the parents to get involved in their child's learning. It is like any social media where the family can like, comment, and download anything that you share. It gets children to talk about their day. So the parents are not limited to the usual, how was school today? This time they can say, I saw your class story and today you changed the color of celery. How was that like? You helped make conversations about school at home more interesting because parents know what they can talk to their kids about. How to set it up? It's very easy. It's like any social media. You invite the parents to join your class dojo. You can do this by printing the invites and having the students bring them home. Click on invite families and then choose the language that you want the invites to be printed in. For this example, I'm choosing Vietnamese. And then you can print the invites for all parents or for just the unconnected parents. I chose all parents and this is how it looks like. You can also print the invites in English if the parents can understand English. And this is how it looks like. So it gives you a step-by-step -step process that the parents can do to be able to get into the class dojo. Or you can also manually add the email addresses of the parents. This is especially useful for students whose parents, grandparents, and even tutors want access to the class story. In other words, a student can add as many people in the family to their class dojo. Click Options and Edit Class, find a student whose parents you want to add to the class dojo, and then click on Connect Another Parent, put in the email or phone number, for example, this one, and click Invite, and then click Save. Once the parents are added to the class, you can start sharing and then they're going to get notified of your posts. You can share classroom moments, um, adding pictures, videos, announcements such as trips or test dates and homework reminders, and additional resources like YouTube links, apps and worksheets that the kids can use at home, even lesson summary. Parents really love this. Now how do we do it? Click on class story and then you can post a photo or a video file or you can record yourself and even an event. Click on browse to get the picture that you want to post, for example this one, and then start writing something about it. Like today we had our first show and tell and the kids really enjoyed it. Don't forget to click on post. What is it? It's a digital portfolio where students can post and share their work with the teacher and their family. Why should you bother with it? You want to boost your students' engagement in their learning. Some students who are not very active in class can demonstrate their learning by uploading their work into their portfolio. They can upload photos, videos, drawings, and journal entries. You, the teacher, can also give them homework through their portfolio. How to set it up? Students can log in in class. If you have tablets or laptops in school, then this is very useful so that the students can share the progress of their project or they can film themselves as they reflect on the lesson. They log in using a QR code. Click on student login and then show them the classroom login instructions. This is the QR code that they're going to use to access Class Dojo. 
You can also print this and stick them up under their desks. You can also change the login method and have them use a text code like this one. Or if they have their own Google account, then they can use that to log in. If you want them to log in at home using their own devices, then you can print and send them their individual QR codes. If they're going to be using a device that doesn't have a camera, then you can have them copy and paste a link that will give them access to their student account. Click on student login, go to at home login. You can send instructions to the parents or get the printouts and give the student their own QR code like this one. Or you can also give them the link if they don't have a camera in their device. And this is what the student sees. So this is for Emily. This is her portfolio and all her posts. Click on portfolio and then create activity. This is where you put in the title of your activity and the instructions. Like this one and then choose the type of output that you want if you want it assigned to the whole class or to just some specific students and these are just some of the activities that I assigned to the class like this one hello miss tina i'm james i thank you for my mom because she takes care of me and my brothers hello miss tina i'm john i thank you for my teacher, Miss Tina, because you teach me a lot of things that I don't know before, such as science, grammar, speaking, reading. You can encourage students to be creative and share anything about the lesson or anything at all that interests them. You'll be surprised by the talent of your students. So many of them showed amazing video editing skills. I've seen students showcase their talent with magic tricks. Today, I would uh, teach you how to play a magic card. It a little bit hard. Okay. I think uh this is easy. Hello, Miss Tina. Do that. It's a great way for you to get to know your students outside of the classroom, create a connection, and show support to their interests. And you can use this knowledge of your students on how to design activities in class that will again boost their classroom experience. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful to you. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below what you think of these two cool features. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.